Globally, the future of the automobile looks increasingly electric. This is primarily due to regulatory measures such as impending bans on the sale of combustion engine vehicles, continuous improvement in battery and charging technologies, and, of course, changing consumer behavior. The end of the combustion engine in Europe is expected in 2035. By then, the world's main automobile markets, including the USA and China, will only sell electric vehicles. But what about in Africa? How exactly will this trend toward electric mobility play out in sub-Saharan Africa? What are the opportunities and challenges generated by the future of electric transport in the region? While transport accounts for 10% of Africa's global greenhouse emissions, its vehicle fleet is expected to grow from 25 million vehicles today to 58 million by 2040, driven by urbanization and rising incomes. With such an expanding fleet, the challenge for Sub-Saharan Africa will be to promote more sustainable mobility and avoid the risk of becoming a dumping ground for used and unwanted ICE vehicles from around the world. The prevalence of used vehicles in much of the continent is a problem. 40% of used vehicles exported worldwide end up in Africa. 85% of the car fleet in Africa is second-hand. This situation is largely due to accessibility problems and insufficient regulation with many countries allowing the import of vehicles over 15 years old. On the electric side, some African governments have announced targets for fleet electrification and incentive for EV adoption, such as reduced electricity costs and tax exemptions in Rwanda, Kenya and Togo. But disparities remain and the journey is only just beginning. At the same time, an ecosystem of startups specialized in EV, focusing on electric two- and three-wheelers, is emerging. This market has great potential, as shown by the upward trend in Asia. Electric two-wheelers run on small battery with less complex technology than a car and can therefore be recharged via an independent mini-grid in areas that are not served by national coverage. Let's not forget that the lack of electricity in certain regions in Africa remains a major obstacle. 50% of the population in sub-Saharan Africa, including rural and urban areas, do not have access to electricity to carry out daily tasks. On the other hand, Africa has significant potential in terms of renewable energy to meet its diverse needs. Despite the challenges of governance, financing and equity, changes in the air and a transformation is building speed. Commercial vehicles and micro-mobility are key levers for development and transitioning to sustainable and electric mobility in Africa.